Four schools started in Denmark in the 1950s and have become popular here in Canada. With a forest as their backdrop, children are encouraged to take risks, all while learning the same things they would in a traditional classroom. I travel to Ottawa's Forest and Nature School to learn about the benefits of being outdoors. Are you stuck? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Ottawa Forest and Nature School. Unlike most classrooms in Ontario, this one takes place in, you guessed it, a forest. They play, they explore, they start seeing things that pique their interest. We, we have owls on sites and, and deer and, uh, and tracks, and so they begin to see things that pique their curiosity and that engage them. On a wet spring day like today, students are covered in waterproof gear, rubber boots, and insulated clothing, ready for a day of exploration. At four schools like this, it's students, not teachers, that make the lesson plans. We live in a world where kids' lives are really programmed and also really heavily surveilled or supported by adults, um, whether it's at swimming lessons or soccer practice or homework tutoring and, you know, all the bells at school. Um, we live in a really regimented world and so at Forest School we try to create a time and space where kids can kind of exhale a little bit and actually discover like oh I have interests and those interests can change quite quickly but sometimes we'll get distracted on the way there by a pond or a tree that's newly fallen that we need to climb on. Um, this time of year, they're starting to find frogs and toads and salamanders and also their eggs in the pond. They get dirty, ask questions, find answers, and sometimes take a tumble. But each adventure leads to a new discovery. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. A peacock feather flew down from the sky and fell on her head. And she ran to the educator and she was like, a peacock feather just fell from the sky on my head. Um, and her and the educator, you know, were like, how is that possible? Like, peacocks don't even live in Canada. Like, how did a peacock feather fall from the sky? Um, so that ended up fueling like a two-week inquiry on peacocks, like where do peacocks live and um, what do peacocks eat and, and where do they have nests? The Child and Nature Alliance of Canada is an Ottawa-based, not-for-profit that promotes forest education in Canada. There are roughly 45 full-time and part-time nature schools across the country, with British Columbia and Ontario having the highest concentrations. This is not a new model of education and arguably Indigenous people in Canada have been learning and living off the land uh, for millennia. Um, so we want to, even though forest school as, as a term um, is attributed to Scandinavian countries and parts of Europe, um, this is not new to Canada. The Child and Nature Alliance of Canada has seen the interest grow significantly over the last five years. What started off with only a handful of students has now blossomed into over a thousand. Students spend a majority of their days outdoors, exploring and playing, rain or shine, and even through the winter months. Here, shall I let go? Children have not changed, but everything around them has. We have absolutely become more of an indoor-based culture, and some people attribute that to technology. Some people attribute that to, um, you know, more pressure within education to, like, a assessment and standardized testing. Studies have shown the benefits of nature-based learning, the obvious one being the physical health, but also improvements in social skills, creativity, cognitive abilities, and even improved eyesight. The teacher-to-student ratio is also lower than a regular classroom, which means students are getting more one-on-one -on -one attention. The indoor classroom can be a space that causes more stress um, for all of us. And when we take children out into the forest, um, it's again that idea of space. What if we do it together? Okay. All right. The educators encourage students to take risks, a major theme in nature school. Holding a stick or being able to jump off a rock or jump from log to log or stump to stump. Um, those are the kinds of ordinary everyday risks that children are not allowed to take. Um, and they often don't have opportunities to take when they're in a, um, uh, an environment, a building. 
Many of the students here at the Ottawa Forest School are either homeschooled or attend public school. Because Ed... And it's not just students that are learning. The Alliance has trained over 400 educators. We're now working with tons of educators who teach, who have a classroom and teach within uh, public education settings and they're starting to do forest school and deliver forest school. Um, often it's one day a week uh, because the idea is that it has to be regular repeated experiences in the same natural space. What I see in forest school is children like come to life because that's what I see happiness, social outcomes, problem solving skills, um, just overall joy. You got it. The Agenda with Steve Pakin is brought to you by the Chartered Professional Accountants of Ontario. Helping businesses stay on the right side of change with strategic thinking, insightful decisions, and business leadership. Are you on the right side of change? Ask an Ontario CPA.